Okay guys, today we are going to be doing a battery conversion on a remote. Obviously you can see I got it I don't know what that goes to. I got it in pieces already. There's the other part. I'm going to be going from one of these CR oh, one of these right here. This is a I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a Toshiba lithium battery CR2032, 3 volt. I'll be going from one of these to a 2AA, which puts out the same freaking thing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this project, it's going to require some, a little bit of soldering. Okay. I'll move all that stuff out of the way. This is the printed circuit board from, out, from the inside of the remote. This is the minus. There's obvious, there's two solder points, so I'm going to have to run me a wire on the back side here. And then this is the plus. This battery would not normally be sitting in there like that. So, but today we are going to be removing that. And the reason I'm doing this is because these button cell batteries don't take the um, extreme weather elements very well. So, plus they're not readily available. Like, I can't go to the my local convenience store and buy a button cell battery as compared to a double A, which can be found at pretty much anywhere you go. I have to go to places like Walmart or Target or someplace like that to find this battery. And they're usually very expensive when I do find them. Which double A's can, cheap double A's from like Dollar General can be acquired for a few, for a couple bucks. So while we're waiting for this to heat up, I need to get my flux. Oh, it's right here. I need to trim my flux. Gotta get every. I gotta get everything ready to do a soldering job. What I'm gonna have to do on this, cause this has two separate ground points for minus, so what I'm going to have to do is on the back side of here, when I take this out, I'm going to have to run a wire. Which is rather easy, because i got wires in my box somewhere. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, still waiting for the soldering iron to heat up. Found me a wire I'm gonna use. Use this black one here. I don't have a pair of wire strippers, so I got to do this this way. Okay. 
Okay. This wire is going to be used to bridge this minus with this minus. It's going to be a little loop back. So. <clears throat> Oh! Don't come in here. Sorry for the interruption. I might, I might not even need the flux. Or not flux, but the, the wig. I don't need them anymore. <sighs> Where's my helping hands? I don't need them. Uh. These little contraption cheer are really, really handy for working on stuff like this. I'm going to try to do it where y'all can see it. And I'm not trying to destroy my circuit board either. I said these little contraptions here are pretty handy.
Okay. I'm gonna need some more solder. Oh, where'd my solder go? There it is. So you gotta fill these holes in. Okay, what I need to do now is I need to poke a hole in this deal. First, I need to glue this on here somehow, maybe super glue or whatever. I need to poke a hole in it. Probably go on this way. Oh, hell, you know what? Maybe I'll just go. You know what? We'll glue it on like this. And I'll just go through the back side. See, this is not going to go back in here the way it was originally because I put this wire in here. I just gotta carve it out where it'll sit in here flat. There we go. Oh, maybe. There we go. See? I mean, I'm gonna cut these off here. So. That's our part one. I'm gonna stop this one because it's already nearly 14 minutes long. So. See you in a little bit.